भारत तीर्थ द एम ऑफ द प्रेजेंट इंटरनेशनल वेबिनार इज टू फुल रिवाइव द कंप्लीट हेरिटेज एंड कंट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी टू द वर्ल्ड द यूथ फोर्स ऑफ इंडिया द स्टूडेंट्स shall surge with the spirit of all round national confidence which is commensurate with india's current national education policy nep government of india swami vivekananda says india is the land of spirituality the blessed punya bhumi the very cradle of human civilization the spirit of india is the voice of eternal pilgrimage a place of tirtha world poet gurudev rabindranath thakur delineates india as bharat tirtha the cradle of human evolution and spirituality hithai danai dubahu badai nomi noro devutare उदार छंदे परमानंदे बंदन करी तारे ध्यान गम्भीर ये भूधर नदी जपमला धृत प्रांतर हेथाय नित्य हर पवित्र धरित्री रे भारत महामानवे सागर तीर ना सत सत जायते एक्सिस्टेंस कैनट बी प्रड्यूस्ड बाय नन एक्सिस्टेंस से इज द रिग वेदा The law of causation, which is the cornerstone of all sciences, originates from the Vedas. The history of India's ancient philosophical, scientific, and technical heritage comes from the core of these shrutis, the Vedas, and the divine bearers, the seven supreme sages, the Saptarshis. It is from the highest summit of the shrutis the apex of all spiritual and humane truths all knowledge systems of the psychological social and material sciences owe their distinctive roots the gita says urdha mulam adha sakham that is first the root above and all branches then come below We now present eight of the key systems of science and technology. Renowned historian Sir Will Durant has said, "India is the motherland of our race and Sanskrit the mother of Europe's languages." Nobel laureate Sir Albert Einstein has said we owe a lot to the Indians who taught us how to count without which no worthwhile scientific discovery could have been made The great American humorist and traveler Mark Twain has said, "India is the cradle of the human race, the birthplace of human speech, the mother of history. Our most valuable and most artistic materials in the history of man are treasured up in India only. One is the history of economics, Arthashastra." Renowned Scottish historian James Grant Duff has said Many of the sciences that we consider today as European were in fact made in India centuries ago One is alchemia the root of alchemy or chemistry 
Renowned writer Professor A. L. Basham says, Indian surgery remained ahead of the European until the 18th century, when the surgeons of the East India Company were not ashamed to learn the art of rhinoplasty from the Indians. Voltaire, the father of modern European thought, has said, I am convinced that everything has come down to us from the banks of the Ganges. Astronomy, astrology, metempsychosis, etc. It is very important to note that some 2,500 years ago, at the least, Pythagoras went from Samos to the Ganges to learn geometry. Nobel laureate Romain Roland says if there is one place on the face of earth where all dreams of living men have found a home from the very earliest days when man began the dream of existence, it is India. Renowned British historian Arnold Toynbee says, at this supremely dangerous moment in human history, the only way of salvation is the ancient Indian way. Here, we have the attitude and spirit that can make it possible for the human race to grow together into a single family. India of the ages is not dead, nor has she spoken her last creative word. She lives and has still something to do for herself and the human people.